Good morning. New on the National Geographic channel is the investigative series Trafficked. It's hosted by veteran news correspondent Mariana Van Zeller. The belly of the beast. Esconder completamente tu identidad y nadie va a saber mm -hmm. uh, quién eres. We're thinking of taking our cameras abroad. Mm -hmm. Of course. I don't know how to feel about this. Good luck, okay, Bob. Good luck, what are you going to do with $19.42 million? They were billionaires before Bill Gates. This is the infamous human experiment lab. Do you feel your life's in danger from time to time? I wouldn't say that I feel my life's in danger. I don't think any story is worth a life, that's for sure. And there's a lot of work that goes into minimizing the risk. I mean, uh, a lot of training, a lot of plans put in place to minimize the risk. However, there are moments where what I call the uncomfortable moments where things don't go as planned. You know, there was a few situations. One, we were filming an illegal cocaine lab in the Vrain Valley in Peru, and they told us that we'd been spotted by the locals and that they weren't happy we were there and they were going to come after and possibly harm us. So we had to run out of there with our whole gear. There's a lot, another moment where we almost got caught in the crossfire between the Sinaloa cartel whom we were filming with and the Marines that were approaching. And so it was a really sort of anxious and uncomfortable moment for myself and my team. Each episode explores the complex and often dangerous inner workings of the global underworld, smuggling networks, scams, and criminal activity. Again, Trafficked with Mariana Van Zeller is airing on National Geographic. It gets an A and is not rated. Beginning its second season on the Game Show Network, Masterminds pits trivia experts against contestants. I chatted with series host, Brooke Burns. The Masterminds are back. Wow, Gina, a perfect score. Over here, we call that a regular score. <laughs> the amount of knowledge you learn, it's like, it's like having a really fun college class because you're learning something new all the time. Absolutely. I think that's, you know, that's definitely a huge bonus of, um, of watching the shows. Not only that, you know, you get to have fun and, and have a good time and, uh, and see us having fun as well, but you are, you're learning something about everything because we cover all of the categories. And sometimes there are silly tongue twisters and sometimes they're deep historical facts and, uh, it's just all over the map. And, and, and it, it, that's what makes it fun because there are times where I'm like, why are we asking this question, first of all? And then there are other times I'm like, why do you answer to this question? <laughs> if you're a trivia fan, check out this fast-paced and challenging game. Catch Masterminds airing on the Game Show Network. It gets an A. Finally, Gabriel Iglesias is back for part three of his Netflix series, Mr. Iglesias. Happy Junior Year, everybody. I got you a little something to help you study. Woohoo! Tablets! Oh, I thought you were going to say Adderall. In the comedy series, Iglesias plays a high school teacher trying to motivate his students. Uh, you know what? I have a really good cast of people around me. So I want to, and, and awesome writers and a great staff. So, uh, you know, we're very, very lucky to be uh, having a part three. And it's kind of confusing because it sounds, uh, you, usually it's movies that have parts. You know, it's part two, part three, part four. But Netflix has an interesting way of putting their stuff out there. So it's technically season two. Uh, the second half of season two, but it yeah, sounds but it sounds it sounds like season three because people aren't used to hearing parts. So it sounds like oh, you got a season three. I'm like, eh, kind kind of. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Initially based on the comedy of Gabriel Iglesias, the series tries to be current and topical where teens are concerned. The result is a hit and miss, uneven jumble of jokes and gags. Again, Mr. Iglesias is streaming exclusively on Netflix. It gets a C. For ABC4, I'm film critic Tony Toscano.